more time, Professor Silagi, dear professors, dear colleagues, it is my pleasure to be here and to present my work on topic sustainability of the social security system in Serbia, demographic challenges and answers. Uh, first of all, Serbia social law represents a relatively new branch of law. This branch of law in the territory of the Republic of Serbia began to develop rapidly after the Second World War, but in the first uh, decades of development, uh, it was mostly related to the area of the labor law. Uh, bearing in mind that in the mentioned period, only working members of the population were mostly insured. However, in the last uh, few decades, the social security system of Republic of Serbia is rapidly changing. Certain concepts uh, are accepted uh, and that are represented in modern European social security systems. And it can be safely said that today social law in Serbia is separate from labor law and that uh, special regulations regulate basic rights which are uh, provided to the insured but also to other citizens due to the realization of some of the social risks. The constitution of the Republic of Serbia from 2006 uh, represents the foundation for the construction of the social security systems in our law. The constitution contains several provisions guaranteeing certain social rights. Those provisions are foreseen in the second part of the Constitution, which regulates basic human rights and freedom and guarantees the right to social protection, the right to health care, and finally, the right to pension insurance. When, in, when it comes to the legal arrangements of social insurance, it should be noted that in the Republic of Serbia, no codification of social legislation has been carried out and uh, there are three basic branches of mandatory social insurance. Pension and disability insurance, health insurance and unemployment insurance. Pension and disability insurance is regulated by the law on pension and disability insurance. Health insurance is regulated by the law on health insurance. And finally, unemployment insurance is regulated by the law on employment and unemployment insurance. Those three laws from the uh, form the basis of the social insurance of the Republic of Serbia. It should also be noted that the field of social protection is regulated by a special law on social protection. And although there were certain announcements in previous years, a special branch of social insurance for work-related injuries has not yet been set aside and the insurance rights for work-related in injuries are still provided within the framework of pension and disability insurance and also health insurance. Case law does it, doesn't represent a significant source of law when it comes to the social law of the Republic of Serbia. And in this connection, it should, it should be noted uh, that uh, the administrative court is responsible for resolving disputes from social insurance, that is, social protection also. Regarding the international sources of law, which guarantees uh, basic social rights, it should be noted that the Republic of Serbia ratified Convention Number 102 of International Labour Organization, and also the revised European Social Charter of the Council of Europe. Other significant sources of social law 
adapted under the auspices of the Council of Europe, such as the European Social Security Code and the European Convention on Social Security, have not yet been ratified by our country. Demonstration of compliance with the European Social Charter. As previously stated, the Republic of Serbia ratified the revised European Social Charter in 2009, and uh, during the ratification, a total of 29 basic principles of the Charter were accepted, which guaranteed uh, various social and economic rights, which are most often referred to in the literature as the right of the second generation of human rights. Among other things, Article 11 to 17 were also ratified by Republic of Serbia. Related to financing of social security system in Serbia, uh, benefits which are provided within the social insurance system are primarily uh, financed from contrib contributions for mandatory social insurance. The law, special law, on contributions for mandatory social insurance establishes the obligation to pay contributions for pension and disability insurance, health insurance and unemployment insurance. Contributions are required to be paid by employer, self-employed person and farmers. In addition to contributions, uh, funds for financing social insurance are often provided from the budget of the Republic of Serbia. And this is especially the case with pension and disability insurance. Bearing in mind the numerous social factors that affect the functioning of the social security system, it is observed that most modern pension systems whose main source of financing are contributions for mandatory pension and disability insurance, cannot smoothly ensure the payment of benefits without the appropriate intervention of the state, which covers the deficit in pension systems. Large allocations for the sustainability of pension systems are still observed today in the Netherlands, Italy, Greece, France, Sweden, Germany, where more than 10% of GDP is allocated to pensions on an annual basis. It is the result of numerous social changes which affected the sustainability of pension system. High unemployment rates, demographic changes and the increase in life expectancy are just some of the factors that cause a deficit in the funds and require the interven intervention of the state. Uh, statistics shows that until recently, 14% of GDP was allocated annually to the Republic of Serbia for the sustainability of the pension fund. Most authors believe that the ide uh, ideal proportion for the sustainability of country's pension system is for employees who will pay contributions for pension and disability insurance per one pension beneficiary. However, in most modern countries, the number of employees who support the number of existing pensioners is unsustainable small due to the policy of full employment from the period of socialism, but also the possibility of early retirement during the period of trans transition period, the transition process, sorry. A similar situation is observed in our country where there are currently 1,4 insured persons for one pensions beneficiary with a tendency to further shift those proportions. This is one of the main reasons why certain budget funds are allocated for the sustainability of the social security system in the Republic of Serbia. Related to organization and administration of our social security system, in the Republic of Serbia there is no single public service before which social security rights will be exercised. And as is the case, for example, in the Great Britain. Social security rights are exercised, exercised before several funds 
established separately for each branch of social security, as in the most common case in comparative law. Therefore, health insurance rights uh, will be exercised before the Republic Health Insurance Fund. Unemployment insurance uh, rights will be exercised before the National Employment Service. And finally, rights from pension and disability insurance are exercised before the Republic Fund for Pension and Disability Insurance. Uh, demographic challenges is the main topic of my research. And I would like to say that in the Republic of Serbia, as well in most European countries, an increase in the average life expectancy has been observed in recent decades. According to available statistics, uh, the average life expectancy of a man in Serbia is 70 years, while the average life expectancy of women is 75,6 years. The changes directly affect the functioning of the social security system of our country, and for this reason, and in order to maintain this system, the legislator often decides to resort to changes in the regulations on social security. Most often, the regulations on pension and disability insurance are amended all with the aim uh, of ensuring the smooth operation of the Republic Fund for Pension and Disability Insurance, which continues to operate on a, on a pay-as-you-go basis. However, for the basic topic of this research, it is important to determine the perspectives and predictions in the Republic of Serbia regarding the constant increase in the number of el elderly people, despite, despite the fact that the standard of living, as well as the average length of life, are still significantly, significantly lower than in the member states of the European Union. Statistical data uh, show that the population of the Republic of Serbia is among the oldest in the world. As stated in the introductory part, with the aim of sustainability of pension systems, there are often changes in the regulations on pension and disability insurance, and in terms of tightening the condition for exercising the right to an old age pension. In general, the law on pension and disability insurance of the Republic of Serbia regulates the rights that are provided in the event of the realization of social risks of old age, disability, dead of family breadwinner, physical damage, and loss of autonomy. The insured will exercise the right to retirement, which is provided within the framework of the pension and disability insurance system, if he has fulfilled the conditions provided for in this regulation. The stated conditions in most cases refer to years of life and previous insurance experience for which contributions they are paid to the insured. Although the right to social benefits should be exercised without any discrimination and under equal conditions, regardless of the personal characteristics of the insured, the theory you know very well represents the idea of tolerating discrimination with regard to the years of life of women, women insured when acquiring the right to old age and survivor pensions for widows. It is taken into account that women spend a lot of time in the household taking care of the family and the housework, then they work in less paid jobs and more often absent from work due to maternity and child care, and they also accept work in the grey economy much more often than the men. In my uh, work, I analyze Thank you. I analyze uh, conditions for old age pensions for men and women, but uh, I will not have enough time to present those changes uh, related to conditions for old age pension. Uh, and I will uh, give some uh, proposals for action and for, you can see those conditions here you know, on, on this slide.
But I will give some proposals for actions uh, and uh, for amendments of law. Uh, in general, the regulations of the Republic of Serbia governing the social security system can be evaluated positively. Uh, in the last 20 years, new law uh, have been adopted, which regulate, uh, regulate rights from social insurance and social protection. It is indisputable that there is a room for further improvement of the regulations and in accordance with the standards of the European Union and especially the Council of Europe, an organization of which Serbia has been a member state for two decades. The most open questions uh, remain with pension and disability insurance, where unlike other branches of insurance, conditions are most often changed, that is, all with the aim of sustainability of pension systems. Therefore, it should be considered the re-establishment of the second and the third degree of disability, which have not been foreseen in our regulation since the adoption of uh, the law on pension and disability insurance in 2003. And it would uh, also be necessary to review the over, uh, overly strict conditions, especially those related to the previous insurance period of 40 years of service, which are foreseen for exercising the right to an early old age pension and which prevent a large number of insured persons from exercising this right. And finally, based on all the above, uh, it is uh, concluded that further reforms of the social security systems of the Republic of Serbia are necessary. Among other things, it is important to continue with changes in the regulations, but in a such a way that the new regulations benefits uh, the insured, that is the beneficiaries. It is indisputably that demographic changes have a great impact on modern social security systems, but it is also important not to forget that the purpose of social law is to provide for persons who are in a state of a social risk. With frequent changes in the regulations, we come to a situation where many insured uh, persons have certain problems uh, with exercising basic rights from social insurance, especially rights from pension and disability insurance, and that they cannot be provided with the appropriate minimum of social security through them. Finally, it is concluded that the Republic of Serbia has provided a favorable normative framework when it comes to the social security system. Uh, it is important to apply the regulation in practice in order to ensure legal certain, certainty for all insured persons and beneficiar beneficiaries of rights. And the BAU is an important segment because, among other things, it would fulfill the goals proclaimed in the revised European Social Charter, which refer to raising the social security system to a higher level, which would undoubt undoubtedly contrib contribute to the further process of uh, joining the Republic of Serbia to the European Union. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh.